Yo, Battlefield 1943, vis- revisiting this uh, absolute classic on the Xbox 360, which I was late to find it, to be fair. Um, it, it's, I don't know, I, th- I think it's like a 2011 title, maybe. 20. Let's have a look. Battlefield 1933 released it. Battlefield 1933 released it 2009. So that's that's quite old. That's really you're in retro. I don't know. I mean, even that's an old game. I wouldn't say it's a retro game because that makes me feel really old. No, because I think retro games have to be sort of very limited hardware still. You know, I, th- I think you can almost have a retro game that's come out a year ago. It's just, it's like a style of game, you know, pixels and whatnot. But yeah, this is an old title. Now, I, I love this title because it's so simple. Okay. It's hard to, it's hard to actually hit the planes though. Oh, this is my favourite. The, the US planes aren't anywhere near as good as the, um, well, I say aren't anywhere. Here is good. These Japanese zeros are superb. They're so manoeuvrable, so lightweight, but they're not as tough, I don't think. It's like they're made out of balsa wood or something, but um, if you get the opportunity to nab one of the other side's plates, it's a bit cheeky, actually. Bad sportsmanship, but everybody does it. I'm not very good at bombing. Yeah, I like this because you, you've really got it's so easy to get into vehicles and tanks and so, well, where did that land? Well I wanted it that time. Usually there's a plane available for you. Take out that plane there. So that somebody doesn't get onto me in a second. I love the simplicity by which you can sort of... Oh, there's somebody there. It's going into that building. And he'll be going across that bridge. Well, he won't be going across the bridge because it's just been taken out. So, let's come back round. He should be around here, I'd have thought. No? Where is he? Oh yes, bombed. The geezer's running across the courtyard. This is Wake Island. I think this is my favourite map. Where did he go? Has he gone in the tower? Oh, missed him. He's driven down to the beach. It's always better to sort of go to third person view when you're flying around like this looking for people I find and then drop back into cockpit view when we need to gun them down. Right, well we've taken all the flags pretty much from this one uh, and they've got a plane airborne now. So, oh and he's crashed as well. It's no good is it? Now there are anti-air guns on these ships and they are quite effective, like that one. I wouldn't be surprised if we go down. Let's get below the deck. Christ. Oof, survived it. You can just repair by flying over this ship like that. It's, that's it. Just fly over the flight carrier. Aircraft carrier, right. Let's get back round. Should. No, he's going to get back on that anti air gun. He knows he's not taking off. He might assume I'm a good pilot, so he's thinking the only way I'm taking off is if I'm on that anti air gun. 
Look at it, look at it. Don't know where it which one he's on, it's two. Oh no, suicide. Alright, well, at least he's taking off. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's a four against four. This is this is the other nice thing about Battlefield 1943 at the moment is there's probably only one server with us eight people on it. Right now it does get busier, so you do get the matches with I don't know how many people, 20, 16, 20, I don't know. So it's not always like this, but it can be. It's just a nice. bombs on him. Missed him. Now I just saw a plane take it off. That would have been my priority target really. There we go. Okay. Happy with that because we've run into each other and my plane survived. But I am really down on health. Let's go back to my aircraft carrier. Hopefully I've got... Oh, he's, he's up in the air, but he's not on me. Let's recharge. I do like timing planes, actually. Just about handle it in this game compared to the others. I take him out just before I died. Looks like it did actually. I'm on two kills. Dun 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 dun. dun. That's the theme tune. Well, in my mind, it is. In my mind, I can sing different notes. <laughs> I think in reality, as we had a like a dinner party singing contest once, it it I can't. It all, it all comes out the same note. Take off. Provide me with a target. There we go. There we go. And it is, that's a kill. And what I'm going to do here, this is cheeky. I'm going to just put the harassment on. Oh no! My shoot didn't deploy. It is a bit harassing, especially if they're losing, but it's sort of your right of honour, really, to. Give them some grief. <laughs> they have the same opportunity as us. You know, to be honest, when I when I when I'm on the US side, these planes are so inferior, I find anyway, just just like that edge to the Japanese planes. He's, he's dive bombing. my shots I'm just nowhere near <gasps> oh pull up pull up pull up just gonna try and in the cockpit view you can sort of pinpoint where they are well it's got to be over me or... there he is they can turn they can get down to a low speed without stalling those Bailed out, cheeky. He's bailed out at right height as well. Let's get down. See what we can see. If we can take him out while he's parachuting down. Can't see him. Can't see him. Might have high altitude, low opening halo jumped it. I don't know. More here. I don't know how he's gone past me. Is he nicking my plane? Is he going to nick? Somebody's on my tail. Look at that, he's bombed, he's jumped out in the middle of the sea there. He's not doing himself any favours doing that. He's not going to get anybody. He's out. He's probably off the map. Take out the anti 
I fancy that plane, I fancy nicking that. And we got a shoot deployed this time as well. Look at that guy suicided then. Well, all he's going to be doing is swimming around the aircraft carrier. Got a boat here. No, that's one of ours. Who's that final? Where is he? Oh, I feel like I've wasted my plane now. Who's that Stumon? He's on my side. He's a blue guy. <laughs> right. Let's go. Oi! Oi! Stop me. Uh, there's usually a tank on this one down here. Let's go down here. Shooting me. Shooting me back. Oh, there's a red guy. That air raid siren is because somebody's got the air raid. Look, on yeah, the red red guy might have launched an air raid. I don't know. Yeah, there's a tank over here. The sort of little things that you know about, obviously, as you play this more and more. Like this tank's white on the map. As soon as somebody sat in it, if it was if it's our own team, obviously it go blue. But if the old opposing team sits in it, it disappears off the map. Um, so you, you sort of know roughly, if, if you're running up and you see that tank disappear, you know that the red team's just got it. And because the bridge is gone, you know that they're driving down here type thing. In terms of anti-tank, the only class that's really any use, I think, is the um, sniper guys. I'd probably called recon or something, but... Um, because they've got the, the sort of C4 explosives, but anything else, grenades and stuff like that, don't do much. Maybe the rocket launcher does something. It takes so long that it's just not worth thinking about. Oh yeah, the other nice thing about this 943 is you've got infinite ammo. It's so lovely. It really is. Although most battlefield games I die before I run out of ammo. Fairness. Oh, there's a tank. I've just announced my arrival to it. Why is that not? I don't know what happened there. Stumon got into the air raid, he has. Got a white flag down here going. That, that gun on top of the tank does not provide much anti air at all. I've taken out planes with one of these um, heavy calibre things. Where we are. Oh no, that's it, we're, we're sorted. Okay, I'll just get, get in a plane then. Try and get one last kill before it's all over. Stew on. Has he got in that plate? He has. This will this will mess him up. Oh, 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 what's happened to him? What's happened to him?
Oh, we're winning. Okay. Somebody's dropped out on the opposing team. Hopefully we'll be on a different map now. That'll be interesting. One of my least favourite is Guadalcanal. 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 Iojima. I like Iojima. And we're a Japanese person. So we get Japanese planes. Let's get up in the air. Take one of them out. ASAP. If we're not playing alone, there's always a chance of plugged in. It's just me versus another person. Which I also enjoy. Come on, don't put away. There we go, there's one down. There's a boat there. Also a plane ball. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of harassment there. But nobody's got our flags. Oh, we've got one guy at least on our side. So it's going to sort of be time to get a flag, really. Let's jump out here. I feel guilty because he's just boated it all the way around to then find that the flag's already been gotten. Oh well. Look, he's going to have to walk all the way up there. He's not even got a tank to play with. Oh well. So he's sort of a wasted journey for that guy. <laughs> the right wasted journey. Nothing like running round, wasting time on a battlefield map. Oh. Surprised that building on Collapse. Somebody's air raiding already. Oh yeah, that's one of our guys. Right, there's a boat coming in. Got the elevation. Oh. I should be gunning it, wasting my time with that. Well, that was horrible. Let's go and get this flag up here. Dun 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 dun. That boat will be going round the back of um, the first flag I got. Get past these if you sort of go perpendicular to the trench. If you're going at an angle, you fall into the trench. Right, this is get looking a bit easy. Oh good, okay, we've got a few people. Oh, uh, didn't want to do that. More than last time. I suppose I don't dislike Guadalcanal actually, it's alright, it's just the, these two maps Oh, he's going to get surprised when he finds this tank rocking up Barrel, exploding barrel You get mo oh no Am I going to have to do it old school? No, I've rolled it, I've rolled it Rolled it with my own body weight Him. A bit late to the party there, mate. You rocket launcher. Wait, there's somebody up on that hill. Oh, 
and that flow slashing white, so it means that someone's taking it. And this one, it's all going horribly wrong. That's one of my taking. We've got a tank up there, I'll go to this one. Tanks aren't overpowered, but they are lovely. I say they're not overpowered. Oh, see, I'm stuck in the trench now. He's taking me with a rocket launcher. Okay, maybe you can do some damage with that. Maybe. Let's get back in our plane. Wreak some revenge. You've got to sort of set it to flag spawn. Oh no, I'm getting in this one because it's wrecked. And hopefully if I'm sat inside it, it'll repair it. Get below the deck and then pop up and do some damage. Just randomly fire them. Oh, yeah, there's no sort of friendly fire, so you can just fire at your own guys. Let's find a way to. Deadered. Somebody deadered him. They're all spawning on that red flag, aren't they? Just teach them a lesson. Oh, they're dead. Yeah, that's the other thing. As soon as the plane disappears off the map, you know somebody's got into it. on me. Let's just get a little bit of health. Full re health and then we can take them out. Unless they've died themselves, they've died themselves. Now, if there's a tank here, it's sort of worth jumping out, but there isn't. So I'll just carry on flying around. Oh, missed that pylon. Luckily. They are there. They will drop out of that shelter in a second. And you can sometimes just kill them as they drop out. In this case. Got him there. Bulls roar. You're a dead man. You've offended me. You've offended my honour. Revenge kill. 
Yeah, it's strange actually this game. There's quite often I'm Going on, it's on a bit more steady there. Now I'm hoping my tighter turning circle. Oh, no, it's not that tight to turn. Oh, I've got to jump out there because not risking. It. not died yet. Somebody took him out anyway. Yeah, also what was... I could hear a tank coming. Damn it, I'm on somebody's map now. Oh, they're all over the place, aren't they? So somebody over here just stood up there. Don't do much to tanks. I often put them on the map. When you hit somebody, they're on the map, they're spotted, so. Oh god, where am I running to? I need another tank ready. from behind as well, tanks. How many grenades is this going to take to take that tank down? Right, well we got the flag and another tank spawned. Do not take my tank. I worked hard for a tank. He's not, actually he's left it, I don't know why. And we've got the air raid, so just got to get this middle flag here. That one. There's a tank on the left there. The red guy. Sit there watching that flag go red. Take it back. In modern battlefield games, every like few seconds you stood here, you get points for the flag going to your colour. So in this game, it's just a flat out 30 points if you're the first person, 10 points if you're the second person to get on it. I do like the destructibility of the battlefield environment. I think it, I think it's superb. I think that's what drew me to battlefield games over Call of Duty. Now I notice COD has sort of done pseudo destructibility nowadays. I don't know about Modern Warfare 2, maybe they've moved on a lot, and they've always had sort of event destructions. You know, like 
animation destructions and stuff. No, don't get me stuck in this trench. Oh, somebody's throwing a grenade at me. Is it? And two tanks. Two tanks are better than one. Maybe superfluous. Oh, somebody's in there. Where's that tank gone? Somebody taking it down already. pokes his face out there. He's going to do it. He's going to poke... Oh, you joking. Got C4. Zmarat is doing okay. 25 kills. Zmarat. Ooh. Hey, how did he survive my grenade? Happens. It's not, it's not actually very glitchy, and I don't know if I shot that past him and it landed behind him or something like that, do you know what I mean, too? Can't necessarily claim that to be a glitch. Oh, let's get in there. Oh no, the air rate's going off. This is a tank repair centre, this like, little shelter here, so always worth jumping into and having a look. Ooh, got a plane, got a plane, got a plane. Got a plane. All right, a lot of planes. Fortis lead, 240s one. I'm about to engage target. Oh, just a few more hits. I might have been able to take him out. Someone's taken a tank. There's no more planes. There's a tank there, though. They're really down on their chips at the moment, actually, the red guys. They've got majority flags, but uh, they're not going to last two minutes, maybe. The other nice thing about this is there's no upgrades to weapons. There's no veteran players have an advantage over noobs in terms of anything other than experience and map knowledge, really, which is probably the biggest advantage, I admit. But like, it's not. Now the US tank. Oh, okay. Taking them both out. Maybe you just didn't see me there. I don't know. But it's is a superior tank to the Japanese one. Thirteen is my lucky number. Not number twelve. Not number eleven. Not number fourteen. Not number fifteen. Not number ten. But thirteen. Is my lucky number. There we go. Ah, you know what? I should write lyrics, really. Not number one. <laughs> Not number two. Not number three. Not number four. But 13. Get on board. I got a plane. I got myself a plane. 
what I'm going to do, I'm not going to attack the other planes. I'm just going to drop out here. Oh yeah. Get into this anti-air. Majobby here. And when that plane flies over... Somebody just land. We'll find out when the flag starts disappearing. Or tanks. Get this air raid on the go. Straight in there. Right, this is this is good fun, actually. Some people hang around for it, really. You you can the opportunity for multiple kills. What I think is the biggest difference if you're in a squad and you're on voice comms is that you, you can see where everybody is on the map, so you can see where to drop the air road. These two, these two are going to be deaded, hopefully. You can outrun the air road. If, if you imagine the air raid's flying north to south on the island right now, you just run to the extremes of the east and west. You've got to sort of time it, though. Look at that, three of these geeks is on here. Look, those two are running, legging it away. They know the air is coming. He doesn't, so he's probably going to get one on him. Yeah, there we go. But the other geezer ran down the side of the mountain because he knew what was coming. There they are, flying above my head, right as we speak. Get this tank and do some damage. So yeah, weakest part of the tank, which most tank games like build into the models is the rear of the tank. Yeah, the, did he suicide? No, somebody took him down. Another plane. So there's a red flag there. I imagine there's somebody running across where I'm looking right now, so let's go that way, see what we can see. Oh, actually get a bit of overwatch on top of this little mound here, so... Just randomly fire on people. Oh, oh, they've taken the air raid. So, oh, well, it's, it's us running the air raid anyway. A little bit more elevation. And I need him to hold still. for a hit. Again, he's thinking, where the hell's that coming from? Oh, I've taken him out as well, somehow. Sorry mate, we might be enjoying your kills, but we've got to go and get our airfield back. Oh no, actually, we're going the wrong way, someone's already on. like being sat on top of the tank. It's just, you're so vulnerable. Emotionally and physically. We're going to get C4 and everything up here, I reckon. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. 
Oh, I don't know, we've survived it. We've survived it. We keep moving, really, for the sake of the... Oh, no, he's got himself a tank. Great. Let's dual tank it. Come out there. He'll pop out there. Won't he? Yeah, there we go. Who, f who blew me up then? We'll pop out there as well in a second. As his buddy respawns on him, he'll do the same thing. Where is he? Has he run round, I wonder? Killed him. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm protecting this flag. Good view of the map here. And if you're sniping, oh, I'll come back in as a spike sniper swiper. Come back in as a credit card swiper consumer. Um. Anyway, where's that come from? Oi. Oh, bugger. Stuffed it now. Let's get rid of that so nobody else can make use of it. You might think I'm dead in that. Look, he's there. Oh, he's too quick. Or I'm too slow. Or a combination of the two. Right, I'll come back as a sniper. Oh, which is a bit annoying, actually. Let me, um, I can't come back as a sniper. I can. I'll just spawn into a plane. So, yeah, I'll show you the beautiful thing about sniping. It's a wonderful thing about sniping. Get lost, you. Did he, he didn't go down, it's just me. Just me, a weaker plane. It's amazing that, you know, it's such a small map that you can have these sort of collisions, really, because aircraft collisions. Actually, I suppose the near misses happen a lot. Like, you'd be surprised at the amount of near misses. But you don't get many collisions, per se. Oh, he's on me already. Has he not gone down either? Oh, my God. When they've got something fly or, do you know what I mean, ace or something like that in them, game and name, you know that they're just sat on battlefield smashing the hell out of people in planes so when it's like when it gets like that, if I'm getting hammered too much in a plane I'll just give it give it up and do something else because those guys are aces do you know what I mean so, now, oh look at this guy here there, there we go Marty McFly. <laughs> I think that's a, a Back to Future reference. Hey, McFly! Remember, we used to do that to each other at school. We used to like knock on each other's head and go, "Hey, McFly!" Oh, I took him out anyway. So he's going to cause less havoc. Hopefully, I'll get the respawn before he does, because I don't think anybody else is on planes. So no, so he hasn't got a plane on his aircraft carrier to respawn to. In which case, he might not bother, or he might wait. But if I can get the drop on him, which I probably won't be able to, but we'll see. Or he might be sat on his anti-air gun if he's got any sense. the AA guns is not white on the map so he's probably sat on that yeah or it's been destroyed oh he's a little but this is going to show my point about sniping actually oh no I forgot to deploy the shoot well I thought I did I think the trouble is I press jump out the plane and then deploy the shoot as soon as 
but it doesn't register. You have to leave it a little bit. Right, where is that guy on the anti-aircraft gun? Let's see if I can see him from here. No, I can see the gun, but I can't see the guy. Oh no, the plane's disappeared. Everything I feared, the planes disappear. Sometimes you can snipe people just based on where their triangle is. Oh, another plane appeared, but... So... Where's a good sniping location? I don't think they can see your... Like, scope flash, if you know what I mean. On a lot of games, sniping would be so overpowered they sort of force a scope flash so you can see where the snipers are. And I don't think you've got that on this game, so you can just sort of snipe happily. But other snipers can see you because because there isn't much in the way of graphic fidelity. I don't know what the term is. Like it's just very easy to spot people. I'll show you. You can see it sort of. You can sometimes see them without the terrain spawning. Let's get up here and have a look. See what we can see over the mountain. As the bear said, look. So, I I can clearly see him once he stands still. He might be a sniper. Actually, I have to be careful. Yeah. Headshot will be a kill. Okay, we've got kill assist for that. There's another guy. Am I sniping through the tree? I'm not going to bother. I'm going to risk it. An assist on that, but not kill. I'm looking for kills, really. I'm right leaned forward over into the screen, actually. I probably don't. Oh, look, 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 there's a guy. Let's get him while he's in the car. Oh, no, too late. Somebody sniped me from over that direction. Probably the person I sniped. But what that does mean, no. I was going to say I could possibly snipe them back, but. Uh, you know what? They might have been in the tower. That sort of makes sense, really. Let's go and have a peek. Oh, I've got a plane to deal with now. Fly <laughs> again. <laughs> if you could dominate the air in this game, if you've got one or two good pilots, and I suppose this is basically real life, isn't it? You can really make a huge difference once you've got air dominance, which is a lot of work because you're constantly bashing their aircraft carrier to, to get rid of planes before they take off. Really. But once you've got it, you've then got the ability for anti-vehicles because your air to ground is oh I've taken him down oh that's so satisfying but what I'm going to do is respawn time is about round about now just drop down here hopefully he won't see me I'm below the deck, so he'll just jump into his plane. And I'm just ruddering round ever so slightly. And now. Don't even need the shoot. Taking him out. That's good to annoy him. I bet you we'll see him spawn. Ready to roll. Yeah, there he is, behind us. I've taken his plane out. 
so he can't get me. <laughs> That's the way to do it. That is the way to do it. He's jumped onto his AA gun, I bet you. Thinking I'll bring back round to give him some more grief, but I've lost interest now. I am just going to fly around here until his plane respawns. There's another little subtle trick. Right, don't fully destroy their plane is a subtle trick. Because if you fully just destroy it, it respawns. If you partially destroy it, like I've done here. As long as you stay below the deck. There's another trick actually as well. Right, so I've, I'm staying below the deck so his anti air gun can't get me. But if somebody's doing that, oh my god, he's got some reach, hasn't it? Though? What you can do is jump into a boat, not launch the boat, and just sit in one of the guns at the back there. Well, there we go. Oh, am I going to get a full repair? Oh, that was nasty. Touchdown. I don't know what I was doing there, that's terrible. Right, here he is, let's fly. It's back on it. I'm spending a lot of time on planes. Next game, next round, which will be probably Guadalcanal. Where is he? Well, I'll show you the boat thing as well, and there's on about. There we go, I'm in the gun seat in the boat. He'll come round for attack. Oh no, somebody's taking him out. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, because a lot of the veteran pilots. I'm just. I've been playing it for a long time, but I'm not. I'm not veteran. I'm not a good, a decent player. Oh, we've got a cheeky sniper up there. Right, a lot of the veteran pilots will know exactly where things are, you know what I mean? They'll, they'll know which, where to shoot and from a distance, like... Oh, I suicided. Suicide. And suicide is dangerous. Um, yeah, they'll know exactly where to shoot. I'll have to try and finish my sentences. So if you're in that anti-air gun, they're shooting at you from a hell of a distance. So getting into the boat gun will fool them sometimes. I mean, once somebody's good at this game, it's really difficult to, to, to you know, get the upper hand on them. Right, where are we at? We're Guadalcanal. Okay, so this is the third map. I'm not going to bother with planes on this map, unless all the tanks have gone. All the tanks have gone. Okay. Oh, I just spawned to get that plane. I don't know that I'm unhappy. But, yeah, let's tank it up. We'll, we'll do tank. We'll stick to assault. I'll tell you what class isn't worth thinking about is the engineer class. Unless, of course, you're in the tank and you need to repair your tank. But, yeah, sport, every, you know, new players will spawn in with the SMG. Thinking, you know, this is a neat weapon to have. Oh, come on. Let's get up there. Yeah, I'll go for the SMG, and it, it's just not the better weapon, it really isn't. That guy's going for that flag, so we'll, we'll just sit here. The guy on top of this tank will get sniped, for sure. 
but we've got a bit of overwatch so oh that would have been brilliant if I'd have got that oh, took him down took him out on top's racking up those assist kills. Where's he gone? Is he is he tank class? Is he gonna repair me? No he's not. What's he doing? He's a uh, assault class so we can't repair tanks but never mind. Now the air rates available here. One of us needs to take the flag while one of us gets on the old air raid. I'm going to jump on the air raid. Let him have the tank. Hey, you've earned it, mate. What's he doing? He's running to that shelter. He's jumping. Right, what can we do damage-wise? I do like to go for vehicles. Oh, I do like to go for vehicles. Oh, I do like to go for the tanks. Look at that car coming into our base. It's not like they're absolutely dominating us. There's no need. No need for it. Oh, I do like to go for tanks and vehicles. Oh, I do like to bomb all the tanks. Tiddly um dum dum boop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop Too late, mate. You've tried to move your tank. Oh! I only got one of them. Where's the blue guy that was here? And why is the flag red? Why is the flag red? Oh my god. Okay, it's blue now. So yeah, I mean, basically, if I'm playing as a plane, to be honest, I do seem to be wasting my time a lot. When I'm playing as an assault on, vi on ground vehicles, I seem to be a lot more productive of my time. Let's see. Let's see if that's the case, because I'm not going to touch a plane today, this, this round. Three-point turn, Austin Power style. That's a flag, another flag gotten. Let's go and get this middle one. I don't know what's the most strategic flag to have. Probably the airfield again, because it's got a tank and everything like that. Now there's nothing I can do with this car, so let's just roll that down. Take him out. Peter Prague. Peter Prague picked a pickled. Look at that. Oh, it's a plane. It's our plane. Right, so. I mean, that red, that flag's gone red again over there. Somebody will be running up over that hill soon. Oh. Where are they? And the air rates become available, so let's go and grab something. Let's go and take something from somebody. Don't take my air raid. Don't just. Oh, tried to steal the kill. But I didn't manage to. I was unsuccessful. Look at this. Straight in there to the air raid. No messing. Oh, they've got tanks galore. Now, hopefully, by the time that second tank catches up with the one that's on the map there that I'm aiming at, I can take both out, but probably not. No, not going to manage it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Look at the state of that. Oh, if I can bomb those two guys. 
That tank knows what's coming. Got them both. Two for the price of one. Those are the two people I killed earlier as well, actually. Which is a bit unfortunate for them and me. Because they might just be dupes. Here we go. Oh, who was that? That was nasty. Nasty. I shouldn't have kept on driving, actually. That was a tank. Just two, that first hit took 90% of my health off. Blimey. Oh, blimey, Gavner. Go oh, blimey. Not much I could do against the tank as this class, in fairness. But there is something I could do against a person who's jumped out of the tank. Okay. Come on. There's somebody over there. You know what? Part of the, again, part of the reason I like this game is that I wasn't really shooting accurately there and I just still went... <gasps> There's two people down here. Get them both. Why is it not reloading? Damn it. That was mean to me. There's no reason to be so mean. Ms. Marrot is currently the leader on the game. Oh, I promised myself no planes, but you've taken my tank, so I've got no option now. But they're, actually, when they're in so tank heavy, this is a good good option to be in. If I if I find myself flying around doing nothing, I'll come out of it. I'll step out of it. It's sort of my productivity depends on tanks being marked on the map or me spotting them. That would have been an accurate bomb drop, in fairness. Here we are. Come on. Can't see any tanks on the map. It's two down for the price of one. And the nice thing is, I got Zmarret back to sort of revenge kill. There's that tank out of action. I think that little bit of health damage on the plane was from my own bombs. A bit too close to your own bombs. I know where he is. I know where he, exactly where he is, that guy. If I can spawn somewhere, I've got no flags to spawn on. <laughs> Ooh, it's a feel victimised. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's sat... Oh my god, it's a bit hectic, isn't it? He sat over on that anti-air gun there. Well, he was. He's off it now. Can he see nobody anywhere? Apart from you, you sniping little bots. It's one down. Are they sniping me there? 
why I shot a palm tree. You can actually snipe somebody in a plane if it's stationary and you're not so stood there reloading your bolt action sniper, but. that top gun on that tank? It looks to be. No. This geezer thinks he's going to go up the tower, does he? Oh. He's going to sniper me, isn't he? I've got to make sure I get him before he gets me. Where is he? Jump down. A fool. Such a fool. Get a view of that tower. I keep going up it and jumping down it, and I don't know what's going on there. Not happy about that. Where are they all now? There's one. I see a head. Oh, if I can get that tank, they're going to get in trouble. No, I can't. But that little shot there puts it on the map for someone. Somebody's sat in that ship snipering, aren't they? wonder why he had so much trouble getting up here. I'm about to find out now. I'm alright. Okay, cool. Let's get a reload on that. Reload on that. Sorry, Prague Pete. The only difficulty is now... He knows where I am. So. Not really assault class, though, this is the trouble, so. Don't really want to be running round. Snipered me there. RKS 1829. Oh, what to do, what to do, where to spell, what to what to do, where to spell, what to do. I don't know what to do, where to spell, what to do. I think I'll spawn there. Ah, I, that's a good choice actually, because I can get this tank now. I can go round the back and get that let's get that respawn in there for somebody go on then jump in let, let us oh what's that tank doing there it's AFK Okay. Did he get the kill? He got the kill between I did. Just rocked on up to our base and sat there. Do, 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 do. 
Masterful Frost wants to chat. I'm sorry, mate. I'm not in a chatty mood. Partly because I'm streaming, and if I'm going to dribble a stream of consciousness onto Twitch, you don't want to hear that stuff. You don't want to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. He's got himself a more powerful tank. Burn. Right, what to do? Look at that, this island that I'm flying over, the little one. There's two snipers on that. They're obviously about to get out. Um, it's not really obvious to me where to be. Who to be getting, where to, what to get, who to get, what to get, who to get. But I'm going to go here because two kills are greater than one. Hopefully that will get the guy in the tower as well. Tank's gone now. Oh, there he is. No. I'm going to take the one on the left. Tank there. There isn't, so that's good news. I'm dancing around so that nobody can snipe me. That could always happen though, somebody could spawn in and kill you. That's the air raids noise, isn't it? Wait, where was that guy that killed me? He was down over there. Revenge on Maya Tomo. Maya Tomo. Very US name, is it? We are slowly. Can't say that really. It's nowadays, you can only say that because there's all sorts of cultures in the United States. Oh, that doesn't. Is that? How did I miss every single shot? And also, didn't get the flag down either after all of that. Oh yeah, the other fantastic thing about this game is there's no bullet drop. So when you snipe, it's a piece of easiness. Look at that beauty. Nice kill of the game for me, I reckon. So I've got that flag now. So that's been a brief tour of Battlefield 1943. Three different maps. Seen two of the classes, seen the tanks, and seen the aeroplanes in action. Uh, seen the air raid as well, which is a pretty cool little feature. Oh, I just missed the top spot by quite a bit, actually, so I haven't just missed it. But yeah, it's a great little retro battlefield game, that. Really, really love it. Right. I've missed 11 Zs, so straight, straight on to lunch, really. Okay, uh, catch you later.